project that I've been involved with for many, many years is a program called Project New Start. And it empowers high-risk youth who have gang-related tattoos to essentially remove the tattoos where volunteer physicians have volunteered to do laser treatment on these tattoos. And in exchange, they have to identify a mentor who will guide them through the whole rehabilitation process. So it's a full spectrum program that incorporates community service, tattoo removal, seeking mentorships. One of the most success stories in this program was a young man that had a gang-related tattoo that after going through this program actually went to my own alma mater, Brown University. So imagine uh, what we can do if we have this in other cities. So the program, of course, is in the Bay Area and is now seeking attention nationwide. And I'm very honored that a company like Cineron Candela is donating some of the proceeds to support programs like this. So it's not just about removing the tattoos. Because the Pico Way uses a 1064 nanometer wavelength, we're able to treat a variety of skin types and also tattoos what was most surprising that even ink like green ink and yellow ink, which we thought we would require multiple wavelengths for, is effective with the 1064 nanometer peak away. I found that in diverse skin or ethnic skin or global skin, the 1064 nanometer laser is the safest wavelength because it's much more colorblind. Other wavelengths oftentimes will create hypo or hyperpigmentation. It is the safest wavelength to use. The wavelength as well as the pulse duration and the photoacoustic being more of an effect than the photothermal or the heat delivered. So you get the safest treatments in all skin types. What was most surprising that even ink like green ink and yellow ink, which we thought we would require multiple wavelengths for, is effective with the 1064 nanometer Pico Way. What we've been finding with the Pico Second Pico Way 532 nanometer laser, number one, it's very comfortable. There's very little uh, need for topical anesthesia. Number two, the clearance of pigmented lesions is a lot faster because again, you're capitalizing on the photoacoustic effect of the Pico Wade laser. And number three, very importantly, to be able to treat a variety of diverse skin types for benign pigmented lesions has really been revolutionary with the Pico Wade laser. One of the most challenging cases in our practices have been, for example, Asian patients with faint pigmented lesions that you can make darker with conventional technologies. With the Pico Wave 532 nanometer laser, we have not found this to be the case. And we're also treating dermal pigmented lesions, lesions such as the nevus of Ota and the nevus of Ito, and Becker's nevi with the Pico Wave 1064 nanometer laser. So there are some changes. Number one, the ability to treat diverse skin types, the ability to expand on the 532 nanometer wavelength for treating benign pigmented lesions in a variety of skin types. I think the Pico Wave has a tremendous potential in the future as a platform for skin rejuvenation, maybe the treatment of melasma, and a lot of, and we talked about scars, there's lots of different types of scars. So tattoo removal and pigmented lesions are just the beginning.